We begin tonight with a call to crack down on guns on Hamilton streets. Police in the city say they're seeing a sharp rise in firearm seizures. And as Jason Gajolo tells us, 13 were recovered just this past weekend alone. There's always frequent traffic at 50 Road and Barton Street. And according to Hamilton Police, last Friday, one driver discovered old furniture at the end of a driveway near the intersection. And to their surprise, they found a loaded Glock handgun under the table. Um, so that uh, firearm, I guess it was secured somehow by way of a magnet. And um, uh, they called the police, called 911 and uh, turned the gun over to us. It was loaded. Detective Sergeant Greg Slack with Hamilton Police's Major Drugs and Gangs Unit says the pistol was registered to the owner of the property the furniture was on, but believe the owner forgot it was sealed under the tossed table. Um, lesson learned and uh, charges laid and uh, you know it's uh, definitely concerning that somebody actually have a firearm like that. Police say the investigation led to retrieving seven more handguns with ammunition and a 59 year old Hamilton man is facing charges of unsafe storage of firearms. Hamilton police say just this weekend alone they seized a total of 13 guns in numerous incidents across the city. Hamilton police say on Saturday two more guns were claimed from an address on Candlewood Drive in Alfreda. That case involves people under the age of 22 years old. The next day, police seized another handgun at a bar at Main and Queen Street in the downtown core. And just hours later, officers found ammunition and two long handguns after they spotted a stopped vehicle in the city. Hamilton police say there's been an 85% increase in firearm seizures compared to the first quarter of last year. What you're seeing an increase recently is because of the proposed legislation at the federal level on firearms in general. And what it's caused is, is a bit of a, you know, a, a panic run by some people who want to get handguns. Policing and public safety professor at Wilfrid Laurier University, Scott Blanford, says demand is rising as more guns are being smuggled across Canadian borders. The possibilities for smuggling across the borders are limitless. Uh, there was an incident not too long ago where firearms were being smuggled across the border at Sarnia uh, by drone. The only way they were found was because the drone crashed. It's from Michigan, Ohio, um, uh, Georgia, Florida. Um, trends have shifted a little bit. Now we're seeing guns coming from Oklahoma, Texas. Hamilton police are asking anyone who has information regarding firearms on the streets to contact them. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Hamilton.